feels good, doesn't it? Everywhere you look, it's wet, it's warm, and it has you convinced, wanted, a little loved. <laughs> Better yet, in control. It's a good thing. It could be. Just you. You and the inaccessible landscape you finally get to play with. Somehow, this way is better. It's good to be in control. Every wet bead on the so-called lens. Every leaf that retreats into the ether. Every contour that greets you with unconditional acceptance and without judgment. You could hit all of it raw. It's still 42 inches of high definition pixel. And you know it. But thankfully here, you don't have to care. Penetrating a flat third dimension is the climax to crave. Because only the hidden desire evades embarrassment. I think one of my favorite fictional worlds is Metal Gear Solid. Not just because of its deconstruction of nuclear proliferation and the nature of deterrence, or the ethics of war, or human legacy and the ephemerality of being and digital consciousness, but because it does all of these things using the intricate language of cinema. And over the years, its lexicon has become more refined and complex. So here's an example, like look at this scene. It's a single one-shot that lasts over three minutes, much like those found in Wells' Touch of Evil or Urusevsky's Soy Cuba, cutting only once towards the end to simulate rapid movement in a scene of intense tension. Look at how the camera follows actress Stephanie Justin from an aerial establishing shot, moving smoothly around her, following the flow of her turn to give a greater sense of movement and effortless flow. Seamlessly, we're moved into an intimate medium close-up that, uh... Huh. Hmm. Everything is bright. No, it's not. But what it is, is immaculate. Amid the damp, powder veneer of perfectly formed curves flowing foliage, and the airless warmth of a light gushing spray. Too good to be true. Too good for you. But everything that you want it to be. And it's yours. The lights are low. A rush of blood. A downpour of sweat. Yours is the urge for the uninhibited, and the ferocity of the wild yet far from the dangers it should inevitably risk. Every visible surface is as it needs to be. Even its irregularities are meticulously calculated. Attractive. But most importantly, within reach and easily discarded. Effortlessly hushed. This is the reason. It's why you're here. It's why it forgoes and surpasses the other senses. And why wouldn't it? All the while, the requirements become more restrictive, more particular, less realistic. But who can blame you when each one is fulfilled? It's good to be in control. Okay, so let's try again. So one of the devices used here is the addition of water on the camera lens. It's used in films such as Spielberg's Saving Private Ryan to create a hyper-real experience that demotes the camera eye of its objectivity, instead implying a subjective uh, uh, body and inviting the viewer into that body. It allows for a more intimate experience 